What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a video stream from your Raspberry Pi and camera to YouTube Live as you could see here where you will be able to create a publicly viewable video stream from your Raspberry Pi all by using an internet connection and a small piece of hardware which is a Raspberry Pi camera. I'll be walking you through step by step of how to do this from the Python level to the library level and by the end of it you will have a publicly viewable stream which of course has many powerful applications. So enough being said, I do not want to waste any of your time. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we do need some hardware. The only thing we need is a Raspberry Pi camera and a power supply. I would imagine if you're watching this video, you already have your Raspberry Pi powered with some power supply. You can just go ahead and buy one online if you've never even turned on your Raspberry Pi before. Other than that, this is the camera I'm using for today's tutorial. There are other versions of cameras for the Raspberry Pi. I recommend this one really simple, really cheap. And you can see once you get it, all you have to do is insert it into that camera slot in the correct orientation. Be sure to push the tab down to make sure it's securely inserted. And then you have everything you need from the hardware setup to get this thing going. So now that we have our hardware ready to go let's jump to the code and libraries and see what we have to do on that end to get the camera stream going okay so now that we have our hardware set up we can just go into our raspberry pi and sign in you can see i'm already signed in and i just opened a terminal and once you are in your terminal we just have to install two things we have to install the pi camera library to interact with the camera on the python level and we have to install another a command line library called ffmpeg which is a multimedia tool that will allow us to easily interact with video to send it over stream to YouTube. So in order to do that, let's just go into this terminal as you can see here, and we just want to type in sudo apt install python3 pi camera, and then space ffmpeg, and that's all we need in terms of the library setup. So really easy. And you can see it's already done because I already had it installed before. And next thing you want to do is if you haven't already, you want to enable the camera. So in order to do that, we actually have to enable legacy camera on my version of the Raspberry Pi. So you just want to go and type this command sudo raspi config in the terminal. So go ahead and click enter. And once you're in here, it will show this little interface, a little archaic here, but it's okay. And we just want to go to interface options. And then we just want to select legacy camera. And it'll ask us to enable legacy camera support and we will say yes. And of course, I do not know how this will change in the future. So if you're watching this video two years from now, maybe things will be a little different. So do not hate me for that if it is different. And once you are done, you could just go ahead and click finish. So make sure you click finish here. And finally, you want to be sure to reboot your Raspberry Pi if this is your first time using your camera. Or sometimes I even realize you actually have to plug in and plug out your Raspberry Pi. But really, just try sudo reboot, rebooting first. So you could just go sudo reboot in the command line. And I'm not going to click enter because it'll end the, the connection to my Raspberry Pi here. But really, once you type in this command and click enter, it'll just restart your Raspberry Pi. So once we have that, we have everything from the library level. Now let's jump into the Python code to show you briefly what it does and get it running. And by the end of that, we will have the stream up and running. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we just want to write Python code. Luckily, I already wrote the code and we're just gonna go over it at a high level and I will link the code in the description down below in the blog. So if I did save you time with that, please thank me later or even better, just hit that subscribe button because I know that can save people a lot of time. So if you do appreciate that, I just ask you to hit that subscribe button. So we can just go here and I'm just going to open the code that I have. I called it stream underscore youtube.py really you can call the file whatever you want as long as you have the contents as i have here so we're just going to go over this code at a high level so what this code is doing is i'm just using some simple imports one of them one of the imports is that library we installed the pi camera library to actually interact with the camera at the hardware level and we also have time which is a native library and sub process this sub process this sub process library allows us to actually run that ffmpeg command from the command line in a python shell so this ffmpeg is actually a command line command so you can only run this in a shell or a terminal but what this sub process does it allows us to run it in the python code next we just have some simple parameters for our camera resolution and frame rate you can go ahead and play around with these if you do decide to increase these what you'll realize is your your stream will get more choppy because the higher resolution, the higher bandwidth you need to actually stream those, those frames to YouTube Live. And the next thing we have here is important. We have that YouTube URL, which should be the same for you. But what will be unique for you is this YouTube stream key. 
So when you go to create a YouTube stream, what you'll see at the bottom, and we'll go over that in a second, is it'll actually have this unique key for your YouTube stream. And you could just go ahead and paste that into the code before you actually run this code. And also what we have is this stream command. So this uses that FFMPEG command line tool with a bunch of flags. We're not gonna get into that. Some of these flags are a bit overkill, so you can go ahead and do your own research on these flags. They do work for the stream, but really there's a lot of things you could do with this command line tool and we don't have enough time to get into it in this tutorial. And at the end of this command line command, which is really long, we see that we have the YouTube URL and the YouTube key, which are necessary to be able to point the video to stream to that actual YouTube URL. So that, that is probably the most important bit of, of code in this code is that line right here, which actually allows you to stream the video over the internet to that YouTube Live. And next, we just have some other simple things. So we just create the Pi camera object to allow us to actually use the camera on the device. We start the camera, we just create some warm up time here, and then we start the sub process for the FFMPEG library. So we actually start to run this command. And then we just start recording and we just record forever until we stop. So in order to run this actual code, what we actually have to do is go create a YouTube live and we have to get that youtube key and once we have that we can run this and i'll show you that is actually working so let's go ahead and just go up here and go to youtube and we could just go create go live so this is just some dummy youtube this is not actually my real youtube channel i've never gone live on my youtube leave a comment down below if you actually want to see me go live i'm not i'm not sure why i would but i know some coding youtubers do go live okay so once we are in this screen here what you'll see right away is you will see the stream key so this is really important we could just go ahead and copy the stream key and because i'm actually interacting with my raspberry pi from my local computer not directly on my raspberry pi you don't have to worry about this what i'm going to do is i'm just going to be lazy and just copy it via ssh onto my raspberry pi so i'm just going to copy it here this is just visual studio code on my local computer that allows me to interact with my Raspberry Pi. Let me just make sure that is the, the correct one. So let me go ahead and copy it and just paste it there. This is just because I'm lazy and I don't feel like actually typing in the, I don't know why that's not copying exactly. Let me go ahead and copy that one more time. I think that is correct. Really, you could just visually go ahead and copy it in. I think that is correct. And then I'm just gonna go directly back onto my Raspberry Pi. And as I mentioned, you could just simply go ahead and copy directly into here if you're going on YouTube from your Raspberry Pi. I was just using YouTube on my local computer and that's why I just SSH'd and just copied it into the code on my Raspberry Pi. So now that we have that, we could just go ahead and run this code. So if we did everything correctly, we copied that YouTube key correctly into here. We could just go ahead and run this code on the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so give that a moment there. So what we'll see is in the shell, we see all this red stuff. Do not get alarmed, that means it's working. And once it is working, we could just go back into our Chrome here. Okay, we could see that the stream is initiated. I haven't moved the camera. And we can just go and move the camera a little bit so we'll see that the latency sometimes is good or bad so typically it's a few seconds of latency so i just moved the camera just now so let's see we can see that it's starting to react so really a few seconds of latency on this live stream now there are ways to improve this perhaps by changing the frame rate lowering it or maybe even playing with that ffmpeg command or improving your internet connection but really i think it's decent enough to create a video live stream so that is pretty cool and, and I think we got the gist of being able to do this. So we can see we are viewing it from the YouTube studio live. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the camera down. And of course, if you just want to view it for any YouTube or for any viewer, you can just go to the channel here and you could just go ahead and view that stream. So you can see that it's live and if I am just some random person, you could just send them this link and they could go ahead and view your Raspberry Pi video stream live. So I hope everything made sense. If there's any aspect of this video that is confusing to you, I know we went over a lot from the library level to the code level. And if you are new in the space, I know some things can be confusing. So let me know in the comment section down below. Overall, it was really simple, I think. 
from the code level, just 30 lines of code and just some simple libraries to be able to do this sort of thing. And really, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this has really powerful applications in live monitoring and other sorts of things. Maybe if you just want to mount this on some robot and be able to show your buddies what you're doing, that can also be cool as well. Also, it is free, so I think it is pretty awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you wanna see in the next tutorial. Stay tuned and thanks for watching and take it easy, everyone.